So to change the world, sometimes you need to do the impossible, and I look at it differently. It's not impossible. It just hasn't been done yet. Think about what Apple did over the course of 10 years. Think about it. Think about what Tesla's done in the last five years. Think about what Tesla's done in the last three weeks. Think about what Amazon is doing. And sometimes you need some sort of a motivation, a Kickstarter to, to get you going. So let me give you one. This is a what if. This is totally hypothetical. This is a what if. But what if you woke up tomorrow morning and the New York Times said this? CEO Jeff Bezos announced today that Amazon is going to be offering whatever your company does starting later this year. What would you do? That's the way you need to be thinking. You need to be thinking that way. So the question is this. Who in this room is going to close their eyes, vision the possible opportunities of the next 10 years, and then make a difference that will change your industry forever? That's the question. And somebody's going to do it. Somebody's going to do it. Let's go back. Think of it this way. The US Postal Service was founded in 1775. UPS was founded in like 1907. And in the 1950s and 60s, they became huge companies. And then some guy woke up one morning in 1971 and said, I think we should deliver packages overnight. And everybody laughed at him. And in 1971, Fred Smith launched FedEx, fundamentally changed package delivery forever. Do something more recent. 2007, Steve Jobs stands up and says, we're going to do a phone. He wasn't even in the phone business. If you had a phone in 2007 in your pocket, chances are it was a Motorola, a Palm, a Nokia, a Blackberry. How many of you have one of those in your pocket today? Apple wasn't even in the phone business. Somebody is going to define your industry. Somebody is going to do it. It's going to happen soon. You have to assume that someone is going to redefine your industry. The only question is, will it be you?